Well, hello, and welcome back to another thrilling edition of Soda Sippin' Sunday. Uh, so I have a, a special edition today. Uh, a couple of uh, my fellow soda sippers have requested a review. Um, so if anybody else out there wants me to do a requested uh, soda, something, maybe it's your favorite or maybe it just sounds interesting or disgusting mm -hmm. and you want me to suffer through drinking it, uh, please feel free to suggest and I will do it, especially if you buy it for me like my dad did. So shout out to dad and shout out to Melissa for recommending uh, today's samples. So we'll start with the one my dad suggested. Uh, they're both ginger beers, by the way. Uh, and let me just say right off the bat that uh, I haven't had ginger beer in, I don't know, something like probably a decade. And from what I remember, it was fucking disgusting. Uh, so I don't know if I'm really going to like this. I think it's one of those things you either love or hate. Um, this is my dad's favorite. It's called uh, Grace Island Soda Ginger Beer. Uh, both this and the other one that I'm reviewing, you could both find at the grocery store. Um, at, at Metro seemed to have both of them. Uh, it was a couple bucks. Um, now, one thing that I don't like about this is it's got the uh, the artificial sugar rather than like cane sugar or something like that. So already that's a knock against this, but I'm open-minded. I'm going to give it a try. I just went for a run. I just ate a bunch of soda crackers to get extra thirsty for this. So it's ice cold. Hopefully it's uh, refreshing here. So here we go. You know, I don't hate it. Um, it really does have quite a bite. It tastes sweet at first, and then there's like a big bite. I'm gonna have another sip to confirm that I don't hate this. Yeah, you know, I actually kind of like this. I thought I would hate it, but, um, you know, taste change as, as you mature into an adult, as, as I am. I am a, an adult with a channel where I review sodas, after all. But, uh... Yeah, that's not bad, and it's a good thing it's not bad, because I have that whole bottle to drink. And I also have this one that my friend Melissa recommended. This is the Great Jamaican Ginger Beer Company. Uh, I like that this one's like a teeny tiny one, so it's just a little, you know, a little tiny taste of this. It's not a whole bottle. Although, I guess if you compare, uh, this is 250 milliliters, and that's 350, so it's not a huge amount of difference, but I guess this is more akin to a juice box. I also like the little pirate guy, and that's pretty cool. Um, so we'll try this one. Before I try this one, I'm going to stuff a few soda crackers into my face as a palate cleanser. Uh, so that the uh, the flavors of uh, this one are distinguishable from the flavors of the Grace Island Soda one. So you can sit there and walk the soda crackers for a few seconds. You can admire some of my art gallery behind me. <clears throat> um, the soda crackers are very salty. I like the salted kind. It's good because it makes your mouth nice and dry for soda sipping as well. Um, I also find that I like the, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but I like the uh, the no-name brand <clears throat> better than the normal name brand, whatever that is. All right, well, great Jamaican ginger beer curl. Let's see what this one's like. Hmm. That one's quite pleasant as well. Um, I would say uh, this one is actually made with cane sugar, which is better, but um, I don't think it has quite as much bite as the other one. Uh, it's a little a little bit of a wussier ginger soda, which doesn't surprise me since Melissa was the one that recommended this, but um, yeah, I like this too, actually. So there you go. Something that I thought was gross, now I like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and polish off both of these uh, ginger beers. And uh, tune in next week. Uh, if you have anything else you want me to review uh, for next week, give me a shout. Otherwise, I've got something in mind, uh, and you'll find out next Sunday.